Hey everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Up Music. Great to see you again if you're returning or if you're new. Hey, my name is Pat, nice to meet you and we do weekly guitar lessons here. Today, of course, we're checking out ACDC. The songs are amazing and they've inspired so many guitarists just like myself. All of these songs in this video I would say are suitable for beginners, except maybe Thunderstruck. That's the last one, my goodness. It's a challenging song and you're spreading out using a lot of your first finger and your pinky and you're doing a lot of pull-offs and hammer-ons and you're sort of moving down the fretboard. But hey, if it's a dream song of yours that you want to learn, it's in this video. Take the time to learn it. You can definitely do it. Just takes practice, hey? So in this video, you'll see TNT, Hells, Bells, Dogs of War, Thunderstruck. A lot of great songs and they're all time linked right here or in the description or in the first comment. But hey, is there any ACDC songs that I missed? Leave a comment and let me know. And hey, grab your guitars and start learning. So what I would do is use your first finger to hold down the second fret on the fourth string, third string, and second string. And you play all of those three frets as well as the open fifth fret. Easy, one finger, right? If you can, play a full A chord with your three fingers. But if you just can use one, that's fine. Once you've done that, it's a little bit tricky. You then wanna only play the fourth string open and your first finger is on the second fret of the third string and you play that twice and then the third time you actually just take your first finger off so what that would sound like all right so what we've got so far and then you repeat that last part you repeat it again so what we've got so far And then you play it again with your first finger on the second fret and then back to the A chord twice. Now a better way of playing it and so it sounds a little bit more like it is to actually anchor your second finger so it's on the third fret of the second string. It just sounds a bit chunkier. Okay so it would look like this. Then these two fingers, so you've got your second finger on the third fret of the second string and your first finger on the second fret of the string above it and then you play the fourth string as well. And then you take that first finger off. Such a fun riff to play. Take your time, I know it's a lot to take in, but it's all written there, you can definitely do it. So you guessed it, next one is ACDC's TNT. I was using multiple fingers, but I'm gonna show you how to use just the one. Let's dive in. So the first chord that's ringing out at the start of the song is an E chord. If you know your sort of beginning E chords, if not, I'll link it here. Or, just with one finger, just put your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string and just play the sixth and the fifth string together. Now the one finger version will sound a little bit metally and a little bit thicker because... You're not going to get other strings ringing out, but that's okay. So, you could just play it with the first finger on the second fret. Then jump up to the third fret. Then down to the second fret on the D string, but lie it down so that you can actually play the open fifth string, the second fret, second fret, second fret. And when you play it together. So what have we got? All right, so now we jump into the second bar. So third fret. Then back to that A chord. So now the second bar, coming with the third fret, first finger, then back to the A. Then this is a tricky bit, you wanna make it sound like the fourth fret by bending the third fret down. So. Then back and make that E power chord. So what we got so far. 
then back to the E. Putting it together. And then you just repeat. So here we go again. First part. Second part. Third bar, you jump into the third fret there. Back to the A chord. Then third fret again. A chord. Then bend down. Then back to E. The whole thing. So coming in, I'm going to show you how to use multiple fingers. It'll make it sound a little bit more like the original. So you've got an E, big chord there. Then a G, you want your second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and your third finger on the third fret of the B string. A, you can just do that down, that's fine. The whole thing together. May take a little bit of time getting that rhythm. Have some fun, have a go. So what you want to do is we're going to turn down the distortion just a little bit, clean it up. So you can hear the notes that's going on. Now, what happens in this song is you're ringing out a lot of the fifth string, which is the A, and you're ringing out a lot of the first string, which is the E. So this is probably the trickiest part of the song. You wanna make sure that all your fingers are standing up nice and tall so that you're not interrupting those strings and those strings can still ring out. So checking it out, you just need one finger for this one. So you wanna ring out the fifth string, then ring out the first string, then the fifth string again. Then have your first finger on the third fret of the second string. Then move that upper string and back a fret to the second. Then open fifth. Then first fret on the second string. So we're gonna break this whole intro up into four parts. That's the first part, well done. So fifth, oh, first, fifth, third, second, open, first. What it sounds like? That's the first section. Second section, you actually start with an open third string, G. Open fifth. Third fret in the second. Second fret, upper string. Then fifth string twice. So what we've got so far, those first two sections, Halfway there, great job. Next, for the third section, you wanna have the open first string, open fifth, third fret there on the second string, second fret, upper string, fifth fret open, first fret. And that section. And the last part, open third string, open fifth, third fret B string, then third fret on the fifth string, second fret, and then you actually start the loop again. So if you were to start at the loop again, it would be the open fifth string, but just as the end of that fourth part, three, two, C, B, or as power chords, and then the A. Great job, let's check out the entire thing. So here we go. is quite quick, it sounds like this. Let's teach you that. So, first finger on the second fret of the A string, you play that. Then you play the D string open. Then you play the same second fret again on the fifth string, and then open fifth string. So we've got so far. 
Next, you jump up a string and you play the third fret on the sixth string, then open the sixth string. Just practice that. The last part is lie your first finger down so you can get those second two frets and you play the sixth fret open as well for a big sort of chunky E power chord. So that's a third of it already, well done. Play that riff eight times. I know it's a little bit tricky, but just take your time. And even if you're playing it nice and slow, that's still fun. You'll definitely get there the more you play it. So great job. Moving on to the next third. So once you play that first riff eight times, you move on to the next riff. Now the next bit, the second third, will require two fingers. So apologies for that. So I'll teach you how to play that. So you want to have your second finger on the third fret of the second string. You want to have your first finger above the second fret on the third string. So you play that chord and then you play the open D string. Now while it's ringing out, your first finger hammers on. That's what that H means. Hammers onto the second fret. So that's the first chord. Then once you're, once you're there, once your finger's down, you just play the chord, same chord again. Then once you've done that, you play the open 5th string, 3rd fret 6th string, same big E chord. And then you just repeat that 3 times. Great job, that's 2 thirds. You're up to the last part, so well done. The last part, you do that same chord again, the one that we just learnt with the hammer on. So do that, open strings, then the hammer on. Play that same chord again, without the hammer on. Then you go up to the second fret on the second string, so the B note. You play that eight times. Then you take your finger off and you play that eight times. And that's it, then you're into the chorus and the pre-chorus. But that's the main sort of riff of the song. So that whole section. And you only play that once. So let's play the entire verse together. We'll remember you started with the intro. Alright, so, so you play that, then you move on to the main riff. You play that eight times, then the next section you play three times. job. The last part, you already know the chords. And then that's it. So, checking out Thunderstruck by ACDC. It's been requested by so many people. I'm so glad we can finally do it on this harder riff series. Now remember, this is a tricky one. It requires a lot of strength. As you can see from that intro, I wasn't actually picking at all. All I was using this hand for was to mute the other string so it's sounding out a bit, you know, a bit cleaner. But on stage, you know, you might see Angus Young just with this hand, you know, his picking hand just sort of rocking out or he's doing something or he's just holding his hand up in the sky and he's doing it with one hand. Man, what a rock star. So we're gonna be checking it out. It's tricky, learn how to do it and then turn it into an exercise. Here we go. So you don't actually need your pick for this, so I would suggest using this hand to sort of mute the other strings that you're not using because it is all on the second string. So memorize this position. You want your first finger on the fourth fret or above the fourth fret and your pinky on the seventh, then move it up so your first finger's on the fifth and the pinky's on the eighth. So with one movement, you hammer out of nowhere, so without picking, you hammer the uh, fourth fret on the second string and then you pull off. So once you've done that once, you then do your pinky, same thing. So you do that four times, then you move up a fret. So nice and slow, it's a hammer on, then a pull off, then a pinky. So you're hammering on 
pulling off. So you're not actually picking at all. So this hand is just floating around. And you do each one four times. Well done, you're halfway there. This is the trickiest part. Diving right on in. So you want your pinky to hammer on the 12th fret and pull off. Second finger to hammer on the 10th fret and pull off. First finger to hammer on the 9th fret and pull off. So it sounds like this. Once you can do that, you then just use your second finger, your first finger, and then you go back to the seventh fret. So 10th, 9th, 7th. Once you can do that, then you do the 9th, 7th, and 5th. So let's check out what all of that sounds like so far. Then once you can do that, the 7th fret, then the 5th fret, then the 4th fret. Whole thing, nice and slow. And then the last bar, you do this four times, you just do the 4th fret and the 5th fret. And then you would quickly repeat. I know it's hard and it's tricky, but take your time. Once you can play it, it's so rewarding. Here is it nice and slow, and then a little bit faster, the second section. Diving right in. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video, and I will see you again for another lesson very soon. If you've got any questions or you need some help, hit me up on my social media. I always get back to you there, otherwise I'll see you again very soon.